So I picked these up really cheap for $6.99. Regular price is $14.99. These are the Ultra Control Freaks for the PS4. Now, a lot of people say they do improve your accuracy. That's apparently what they say back here. Top gamers trust the Control Freak 2 improve accuracy, enhance grip, and increase comfort. So, I'm going to give you an honest review on these and let you know how they really are. So, let's open these up. If I can get it open. Right there, I have the white controller. I have another one coming. It's uh, the camo one. So we'll check it out. I'll do an unboxing when that comes in. Now, if everybody's been complaining about the grips, them uh, falling apart, these ones here are just like new. I've had this for a year. You keep the uh, grips on them. Like I have these ones here, I have the orange ones. And uh, they save your controllers. For all they cost, I'd buy them. Put them on every controller you got. So here's the Ultra PS4 Control Freaks. And they're raised up there a little bit. As you can see, they're just clipped in the back. Welcome to uh, Freak Nation. So let's take these out. There's one. Now we'll be putting the grips on these. Now you just clip on your controller. Well, let me put the grips on and see what they look like, if they actually fit. Because I don't know if the grips will fit on these or not, so let me put them on and show you what they look like with them on. So if you purchase these control freaks, you cannot put the grips on. They are too big. So that kind of sucks. But uh, let's try them without the grips in and see how they work, what kind of comfort they give you. I purchased a package of 20 of these for like a dollar fifty of the black ones and I ain't gonna be able to use them with the control freaks so that sucks so I might be doing a giveaway so let's put these on I don't think they go on any special way and there they are going to take a little time to get used to, I do know that, because they're a little higher, as you can see. Let's put the other one on. That's all I do believe. So there they are. So let's give these a try and see what they're like, and I'll give you a review of them. Let you know if they do increase the accuracy, if they stay on good, if they're comfortable, and uh, let you know if they're worth buying. So, review's coming right up. You guys, I cannot believe it. All I got to say is, wow. <laughs> you guys are not going to believe this. You are not going to believe this. These things suck. <laughs> okay, they don't suck, suck, but uh, they do uh, serve the purpose for people with larger hands. Uh, that finds the controller small. Um, 
It's like I gotta climb a step ladder just to get onto those joysticks to play the fucking game. Sorry for my language. Uh, a lot of getting used to. Uh, I do have medium sized hands. Uh, changed my gameplay totally. I'm telling you, it it, it wasn't. Uh, I wasn't lying. It did it did change the gameplay for me completely. It, it slowed me down probably over fifty percent. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, but I do. I'm not gonna blame it all on the on these because you gotta get used to them. That's for sure. I imagine if I got used to them, uh, maybe be all right. But holy shit, going from pretty good to pretty bad within 20 seconds. Is, so if you see how much they raise them up like you can get smaller grips uh, risers or you want to call these and uh, it probably would be more convenient for me uh, too high that's for sure so hold this up so you can have a little look that's quite a bit these are the ultras and uh, Probably will send the other ones that I got coming in the mail with the other controller back. Uh, I think I only paid like, I don't know, what was it, nine ninety nine, ten bucks. I don't think they're worth ten bucks to me. I don't. I've seen them on there were twenty bucks, twenty one dollars. They're not worth it to me at all. Throw some thumb grips on there, and away you go, you guys. But uh, you know, don't get me wrong. People with larger hands uh, probably would be a much more convenient for you guys. Uh, only one problem with these PS4 controllers, period, is they have no grip on back. I feel like taking this controller apart or buying something on the market to make that back piece, I don't know, more grippier. I was thinking of taking a Linex, the back of the controller which would be pretty cool. Uh, tape it all up, just the bottom. Don't need to tape anymore, you know. If I was gonna line excess, people's gonna say you're nuts for line accident, what are you talking about? But hey, I'm gonna get my grip for sure. And uh, the controller ain't gonna be so friggin' slimy and slippery playing for an hour on this damn thing. If I was gonna do it, I'd do a line X, like right here. Uh, don't need to line X all that, but just for the looks, I'd line X the whole damn thing. I tape the stickers off on it. I tape the controller all up, the reset hole there. I would line X that. And uh, the front, I wouldn't worry about. I'd leave them. It's just the back. Why wouldn't Sony make them backs a little better than what they are? They're no grip. That's pretty bad. You can buy a rubber thing that uh, a sleeve to put on these to make it so it's not so slippery, but they want $21 where I can go buy a can of that Linex for the same price and do all my controllers. So, uh, and then we got left over for the truck. Touch up the box. <laughs> so, I don't know. Leave a comment down below. And uh, let me know if you'd like to see this controller line next. Uh, I do have a chip, rapid fire chip, that I want to put in it, but uh, there's been a kind of a stop on that. I'll hold on that for now. Uh, antenna issues. I really don't want to go put a wire on my Bluetooth just for the chip to work. I kind of would like to have the fix, but. Uh, Anyway, you guys, Line X. Let me know if you want to see this Line X or not. And uh, let's see if I get so many views. Uh, let's say I get a hundred thousand views, I'll Line X it. Hell, maybe I'll Line X the whole damn controller. Yeah, I don't know. So there you go, you guys. There's the risers. Like I said, it's not going to improve your gameplay. Like I say, it's just a big money scheme. Uh, the only people I can see it being advantage for would be people with large hands uh, great big monkey hands they got there <laughs> so anyway
Don't forget, rate, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see that line next or not. Thanks for watching, you guys. Later.